Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today I'm excited to share some more Timu items with you. So with all that, first of all, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Brenda and if you're returning, you know I love you. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you some stuff that I got from Timu. So these are some like window clings. Look at how pretty those are. Those birds are so lifelike. And the butterflies, I just love them. Um, oh, there's more there too, look at that. Look at the color. They are so pretty. And they are not very expensive, like most things with Timu. So yeah, I can't wait to use those in a DIY. And then I got these, Man, I can't talk. What are these? These are stencils. This is a bird stencil. And these all came together as one pack. And then it's got several flowers. This one looks like a heart with roses. And then this one, I don't know what kind of flowers they are, but they look really pretty. In fact, that almost looks like a strawberry. And then we have this flower. So we have several different kinds of flowers. This looks like wheat. Be great for the fall and some more flowers those look more like summery kind of flowers like tropical flowers so those I'll have the price listed so you can see how much those cost I got these little handles I cannot wait to use these these are so pretty um, but look at those aren't those pretty those are beautiful they're kind of a bronze color and they come with the screws. There's the screws in there. In fact, one fell out. So, ugh, can't wait to use those too. I got this, you guys. I did not realize how big this thing is, but this is a outdoor flag and it's a Highland cow. And it's huge. It is huge. It, I don't even know what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna use this. I did not realize it was this big. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so pretty oh anyways so yeah stay tuned let's see how what I can come up with for that I did not realize it was going to be so big then I got this little bowl or it's not really a bowl it's kind of a it's a plate but I just thought it was really pretty and I can't wait to use that and then of course I showed you guys this when I was scrolling through one of my last uh, Timu videos. I got it. This farmhouse. I love it. I think I know what I want to do with that. I got these, but I, you guys, I don't think I ordered these, so I don't know if they replaced something I ordered. I have to go back and look at my order, but this is deer winter, wintry deer scenes. Um, I'm not a, a huge Look, you guys, I lived in the Northwest most of my life. I, I've i seen deer and elk and moose and all that stuff. And so for me, it's just like, ah, eh. <laughs> I'm not really into it. But um, yeah, somehow this got sent to me. So uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can find something to create with it. I honestly, I don't know. This is just really not my style. And I don't know why I got these. I know I didn't order them. I can just say that. So again. This one says wildlife, but it has like snowflakes and stuff on it. This one's kind of pretty. It's got a deer that has flowers on it. Um, it's got some pretty flowers on that. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what I can come up with. And then I got some half beads. I was running low on half beads and I thought, okay, well, let's get some half beads. Look at this bag they send this stuff in. These are some really nice bags. It'd be great to take like on a trip with you or something to put your dirty clothes in whatever anyways some half beads which I love to have so okay that's what I got for this video so let's see what I do with it okay here's DIY number one so I'm going to use my Waverly antique wax I'm going to use this decal I created with my Cricut this very adorable farmhouse sign from Timu and then uh, this 14 inch wood round. So I'm going to start off by taking my antique wax. I'm going to brush it on the wood round and then wipe off the excess with my paper towel and I do both sides. Once it was all dry I took some 
E6000 and I'm just putting it all around the back side of my metal sign here. And since it's metal, that's why I'm using the E6000 because I want it to have a permanent hold. And because hot glue and uh, metal just don't really uh, work too well together. But I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue just for the immediate hold, just to kind of hold it in place um, while that E6000 sets. Now, once I have it set where I want it, I do take some clips and clip them down. And then I, I it wasn't really holding that much in the middle with the clips on the sides. So I did take some heavy paint bottles and set it on top for a few hours just to make sure that it cured. Then I went ahead and took my little decal here and I am just getting it onto my sign. And then I decided to make a bow. So I'm going to take, I took two pieces of this burlap ribbon. I cut them down to, um, I think 14, 16 inches. And then I think the white one I cut down to 12 inches, if I remember right. But I'm just hot gluing them end to end, just like you see me doing right there. And then after I have them all hot glued, I'm going to take the bigger ones here and I'm going to scrunch them up in the middle. And then I'm going to lay one on top of the other in an X pattern. Then I'm going to take the smaller one and scrunch it up in the middle, although I was struggling with scrunching it. <laughs> and then I'm going to lay it across the front of those two that are crossed. Then I'm going to take some jute twine here. I am going to tie a knot around those to keep them in place. And then I'm going to take the excess. See, it's very long twine there, and I did that on purpose. Um, because I'm just going to wrap all of it around the middle of my bow that I'm making here. And you'll see me do that here after I get done playing with the knots. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. But I'm just going to wrap and wrap and wrap um, just to give it some extra dimension, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to tie the ends together in the back, tying a knot, and then uh, trim that off. And then my bow is made. Then I'm just going to hot glue that to the right hand corner. Oh, I guess that's the left hand corner, huh? <laughs> then I took some boxwood greenery. I decided it needs some greenery and I'm just going to hot glue it behind my bow. And then I'm just going to add a hanger to the back. I took some jute twine, tied knots on the ends and hot glued it to the back. And that's all there was. I love this. I love that farmhouse uh, metal sign. And I just think this looks beautiful. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, so let me tell you about Timu. Now this is their website, timu.com. If you don't know who or what this company is, it is an online retail store, pretty much like Amazon. They have everything that you can imagine and at really low prices. I will, sh um, <laughs> I have my discount code listed there for you. If you're interested in shopping, you can use that code to get a 30% discount. But you guys, I am just amazed. They're always adding new things. And just when I thought I saw all the crafting supplies, I go back and find more. So <laughs> it's one of those uh, shops that once you start looking, it's hard to stop because there's just so much to look at. They have anything from clothing wear to home goods to crafting supplies to pet supplies it's just amazing so make sure you check out their site if you haven't already and i know you will not be disappointed i will have links in my description box to them as well okay so get let's get on to diy number two <clears throat> So for this DIY, I'm going to use my antique wax again. I'm going to use some of these bird and butterfly uh, window clings. I'm going to use some giant craft sticks. And then these half beads that I got from Timu. And then this picture frame that I had in my stash. So I'm going to remove the backing and the glass from my picture frame. I am going to take these giant craft sticks and I'm just kind of measuring um ooh did you hear that it's thunder outside <laughs> anyways I am cutting down my sticks so that um, or my craft sticks so that they will fit right inside of my picture frame and I'm going to cut both sides and then I'm going to take that 
uh, craft stick that I cut and I'm going to line them up to seven more and I'm going to uh, measure that or uh, mark where to cut them um, and then I'm going to cut each one of them down. So I had eight of them all together. After that, I took my antique wax and I painted them all on and then I decided I'm going to do something different here. I don't normally do this. Um, method but I'm gonna just pour it all in a bowl and then I accidentally poured way too much <laughs> and I was just like oh man so here I'm just trying I mixed uh, those half beads all over inside of my antique wax there and then I'm just trying to get as many of those beads out onto that plate I was able to save some of this wax I was able to pour back into my bottle and then after I clean off all my beads I was able to save some of that wax as well but I just took a paper towel took many paper towels <laughs> to wipe off the excess there and then just um, let them dry and then once I was done with that I took I did end up painting that uh, frame with my and my Waverly chalk paint and the color ink I wanted I decided I wanted it to be black and then I went to go lay my craft sticks and they were still just a tad too long so I'm just taking my scissors here to trim trim them down and then once I had them the right size I just took my hot glue and glued the little rim where they're laying inside of my frame and then I'm just going to do that all the way down the back of my frame just like you see me doing here. And you guys, I thought about leaving the glass in and, um, <laughs> and I thought, well, maybe after I get done with my sticks, I'll see if I want to add the glass. And then I thought, well, I can't add the glass. I just glued the sticks on. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was having a day. Anyways, uh, once I had all those sticks glued in, I just hot glued all the beads, uh, around that picture frame. Then I had to look and decide which, uh, picture, which, bird I wanted to use and then once I picked the one I'm just taking my little scissors here and I'm trimming off the excess um, plastic that goes around the the, uh, the picture because I just feel like it gives it a more realistic look to not see that excess plastic around it and I'll kind of show you in a minute I forgot to do that to one of the butterflies so you'll be able to see the difference so here I'm just using my school glue I'm going behind the the picture of the bird here and just adding my school glue everywhere and then I'm going to lay it where I want it and then I'm just going to smooth it all out and the glue stick it dries uh, clear but it works really well on um, what are these window clings <laughs> so I'm just using that here to attach my bird and then I decided to do the butterflies and so I'm adding my butterfly and this is where I went oh man I forgot to trim this one so I'm looking at it going hmm, well it's okay it's not too bad but I did add another butterfly and I did trim that and if I know up close you can tell the difference but it still looks okay so I just took some of this uh braided cord jute cord and I'm just going all the way around and hot gluing that um, to the edge of my frame by the beads there and one of the main reasons I always love using this twine for that but I also did it so that you couldn't see the hot glue from those beads then I'm just making a double finger bow and as you see I wrapped around my fingers twice taking my excess wrapping it around the middle of those loops bringing the uh, extra leg around and pulling it through that new loop that I just made around my bows and then pulled tight and, and then we have a finger bow so I'm just and I did that slow so that you could look because it's very hard for me to explain how I did it <laughs> um, I'm just gonna hot glue that to the front and that's all there was for this it's so simple but yet I think it's very sweet I love how the the beads in the uh, craft sticks look and it just makes it look so rustic anyways you have to let me know what you think about this one as well I just want to thank all of you guys oh my goodness you guys are all amazing all my subscribers thank you so much and if you're new here welcome if you enjoyed today's video please hit that subscribe button before you go it's free to you and it means the world to me and then make sure you guys give me that thumbs up comment and watch those ads before you go that really helps ch my channel grow and then also if you'd like to follow me on social media you can find the links to my accounts in the description box below okay so on to DIY number three so for this DIY you guys I'm gonna use my Waverly antique wax I'm gonna make 
Now use two of these five gallon paint sticks. I'm going to use this huge welcome flag with the Highland cow. Now this cow is adorable, um, but I didn't realize I was going to get such a big flag. So I was kind of not sure what I was going to do. I also used a big foam board. So what I decided to do is I took my foam board and I'm going to hot glue this sign all the way around the foam, foam board. Now I knew I didn't want the welcome part of it. So that's good because it wouldn't have fit all on my foam board. So I decided I was going to cut it, but I just, it's, it's got part of the ear on there and I just couldn't get myself to cut this because it's so cute. So instead I'm just doing, I'm just tacking it down with some hot glue in the back in case I want to take this apart and maybe hang it another way. But for now, this is what I'm doing. So I took my um, pink sticks I had stained with the antique wax and I'm hot gluing one to the top and one to the back of my uh, sign here. This is a super easy project. Then I took some of these poppies that I had and I took them all off the stems and I'm just going to hot glue them right where that white floor, um, picture of the flower, flowers ugh, was over the ear. And I just thought it'd be really fun to have some uh, flowers that pop out kind of with a 3D effect. So instead of a bow, because I thought about doing a bow, I decided to do this instead. And I really love how this came out. And it is so cute. Highland cows are so popular right now. And I just think this came out really cute too. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, it is a time for a celebration of your recreations. And Tracy and her sisters got together and they created these adorable uh, little planters. I love them. Thank you so much for sharing those with us, Tracy. And if you have a creation or recreation that you would like me to showcase for you, you can send pictures to my email address that's listed there, or you can send them to me through Instagram or Facebook Messenger, and I'm more than happy to showcase them here for you. Okay, here is DIY number four. So I'm going to use the Waverly Wax by <laughs> Chalk, sorry, Waverly Chalk Paint in the color white. And some of these little handles, I think these handles are so adorable. This stencil, this deer stencil, I know I said I never use deer stuff, but I thought I would use this one. And then this snack plate here. So I'm going to take my stencil brush here and my white chalk paint and I'm just going to go ahead and stencil in the deer into the middle of my snack plate. Now it was kind of hard to tape because the stencil part was a little bit bigger than the plate um, and it wasn't really wanting to stick on that wood. So I kind of pretty much had to hold the stencil down with my hand, but you know what? It came out really good. I was pleasantly surprised there was no bleeding. So I'm just going around with my stencil brush and I'm just going up and down all over the deer. And then once I finish that, look how nice that looks. I had one little smudge up there, but I think that was my fault, not the stencils. So then I, I washed off my stencil and I decided, okay, I wanna have some of these flowers going around the deer. So I'm laying it out again and I'm just holding it down and wherever I felt like the stencil was kind of raised because of that curved edge, I just used my fingers to really hold those areas down just like you see me doing right there and then continue going up and down <laughs> my stencil moved there. Luckily, I was able to get it right on track, but yeah, I just continued moving or um, blotting my brush up and down and then I cleaned uh, once I get to the end here, I do clean off that stencil and I did the same thing on the other side of the deer. And I really like how this came out. Then I decided to take one of those screws from the handle and my little screwdriver. And I'm just creating holes by um, just screwing it in until I felt it, the screw starting to grab. And then that way I knew the holes were created pretty nicely so that it would not be too hard to add my handles. Once I had the, the holes started here, then I'm just going to place the handle over the holes and then I'm going to screw those screws in. Now, I could have got the impact wrench or drill to do this, but um, 
I was afraid that it might split the wood. And I didn't know if my husband had a drill bit this small either. So I decided to go ahead and do it with myself. And it really wasn't hard. The wood is soft enough that it went through really easily. And then I took some of these half beads I had in my stash. I'm just using these to create um, feet for my little riser here. And that's all there was for that one. So now I have just a sweet little riser, nice rustic riser. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think. I think for it being a deer, it's very pretty. And so you'll have to let me know what you think about this one as well. And so I have the final reveal coming up. Again, make sure to check out the Timu site and make sure you use the coupon code if you anything if you order anything to get an extra discount. And I will be back again on Monday, May 1st. I can't believe it's May already. Almost my birthday. <laughs> Anyways, with another video, I'm excited about this one. It's going to be patriotic. And so make sure you have your notification bell set. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button before you go. And then don't forget to give me that thumbs up and comment. So with all that being said, you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.